The Prince of Net Zero, Ed Miliband, is back in the news. Yes, the headlines are all over the place with uh, Ed Miliband's trip to Scotland. The Labour Party realised that the SNP are in trouble, so they've decided to send some support uh, and manpower to the Scottish Labour Party. So, And they're doing it in the name of the climate and environment. He's very much pro-Net Zero. He's literally gone to Scotland to talk about Net Zero. And he decided to fly to Scotland to talk about net zero. Yep. <laughs> so Ed Miliband tweeted, that it's great to be with Keir Starmer and Anna Sawa, the leader of the Scottish Labour Party uh, in, at a wind farm, in a, at a Beatrice wind farm in Wick. Uh, Labour will make the UK a clean energy superpower. That means cheaper energy bills. What? <laughs> and greater jobs right across the country. This is how we rebuild the Britannia. Um, cheaper build. Okay, good luck with that, Ed. But we discovered, <laughs> thanks to Guido, uh, Guido said, a little birdie tells me that Ed Miliband took a carbon-emitting flight to this non-essential clean energy photo op. Hashtag hypocrite. He literally took a plane to Scotland just for a photo op, to tweet that picture and walk around with Keir Starmer and Sawa saying, hey, we're going to make Britain and Scotland uh, a, a, well, a clean energy superpower nonsense and we're going to make your bills cheaper. You can't do it again. As I keep saying, it's like Grand Traps. He's Secretary of State for Net Zero and Energy Security. You can't have both right now. It's not how things work. But they're going to keep lying to us. They're going to keep going around with the photo ops pretending that they care about the environment while taking planes left, right and centre. It's not the first time he's done this. He keeps taking private jets and everything else. So, uh, remember this tweet? Um, when he <laughs> decided to take a private jet, Ed Miliband thinks domestic flights in the UK should be banned. You know, because taking flights within the UK is so bad for the environment. Meanwhile, here is a picture of Ed flying to Scotland from England in a private jet. One rule for us, another for them. So this is actually quite weird. I mean, it's not the first time we expose these uh, hypocrites, green hypocrites. But at the same time, when are the mainstream media going to wake up to this reality? I mean, we know that they're also obviously very much in favor of the, the big green lobby and their money. But at the same time, this is so obvious what's going on here. But they're not really concerned about what the, the in, ter in terms of the interest of the British public who are the actual customers. It's the viewers, it's the people who buy newspapers, it's these people, the public, who are funding uh, you know, the, the, the media outlets and the press outlets. But they don't really care. They're the people who run these outlets. They are taking advantage of the people. So, Ed Miliband also said that Britain was once, uh, was once a climate leader. <laughs> it can be again. <laughs> the UK should join a clean power alliance, says the, the Labour's Shadow Secretary of State for Climate Change and Net Zero. So I'm trying to figure out what time or era he's talking about in reality. But at the same time, if, if from the perspective of pro-Net Zero people, the UK right now is already leading. We are the, one of the greenest countries in the world. We're not emitting, I mean, especially compared to uh, countries like India, China, Brazil, many other places around the world. And we are completely sacrificing a lot of things that we have. I mean, we're not doing it. The government is doing it on our behalf. They are changing our lifestyles. They are making our energy bills getting more and more expensive. And then they subsidize it by taxing us again, which is brilliant. But that aside, what era is Ed Miliband talking about? I really want to know. But he's also said, if Labour wins the next election, we will achieve zero carbon power by 2030. So the Labour Party are now officially bringing back the 2030 targets, considering that the current government, with all the flaws, they've abandoned the 2030 net zero targets. We don't have an official 2030 net zero target under this government because they know it's not realistic. So they've delayed it. They said, well, we're going to aim for 2050, <laughs> which is still better than 2030. Like, let's be factual. But if you vote for the Labour Party and Labour government get into power, then we're going to go full on New Zealand and full on Canada. And it's going to be quite chaotic what's going to happen, not just to energy bills, 
but to the the, the everyday uh, people in, in in this country when it comes to commuters and it comes to you having a car if you if you're a plumber if you're an engineer you need to have your van uh, driving around to work no you can't you're not allowed to use your car anymore things are going to change you can't even you probably won't be able to have domestic flights in the country because then Miliband wants to ban them things are going to change not for the good but for the worst but this is going to be a future Labour Britannia if they get into power so good luck with that ladies and gentlemen on that point thank you so much for watching I'm Maya TC and we are the media